of the media. I think first of all, uh, I'd like to congratulate uh, the coach, Emmett Suleiman, and uh, the players. The Tanzania national team for qualifying for F1. I think it's a huge achievement and a huge uh, boost for Tanzanian football. And it will only improve things and uh, a huge congratulations to the heroes, the players, and of course the coach, the technical staff and, and everybody involved. Uh, yeah, we've been welcomed in Mwanza. Um, thankfully a bit of rain. That, um, our preparations have gone well. Our internationals, some of them came back um, yesterday. Of course, it was uh, after their match. Uh, was not about training. It was about recovery. And uh, today is that second part of recovery that they will continue with. Um, Mokwala will join us uh, here. Noma was already there uh, yesterday as well. Um, and yeah, we're ready for the match. Our preparations have gone well, and uh, we're ready to go. Maswali okay. Matato, uh, kwa kocha. Okay, coach. You say yesterday you were doing recovery, and today is the second day. Uh, here there was a FIFA window break. How will it affect you in tomorrow's game? Yeah, the FIFA break we uh, we used uh, first of all to to refresh, to get some uh, rest for the players, those players that were left behind, uh, and then of course giving attention to detail to players uh, that were not in the national team. We had 18 players uh, that we could train with, so it was very important for us to work uh, in details with them. And you know, when you have a lot of matches, you don't really have time on the training ground, so. This was our opportunity to really put focus on, on those players and work on some principles and reinforce certain principles that we uh, didn't get to work on in a long time. And uh, our national team players comes back, uh, like I said, uh, normally 48 hours uh, for recovery. Noma played on Monday, so he has a full session today. Yesterday, Noma did a partial session uh, as part of his active recovery today. Uh, our internationals like Kapombe, Shaba, Kibu. Kibu played 45, so he could do a little bit more today. Uh, but Shaba, Kapombe, uh, Kamara um, will not do a full session today. They'll do partial uh, as the second day recovery. Uh, it won't affect us because uh, these players already know our principles, how we uh, work and what we are doing. It's just some finer details that will clarify We'll update them in terms of meetings we've had, in terms of training sessions we've had, to update them what we've been working on. And I'm sure, I'm sure it won't be a problem uh, to relay the message of the of the game strategy, how we're going to approach the game and how we we are planning to to gain all three points. Okay. Second question. Okay, back to the tomorrow's match. Uh, did you learn anything about Bamba I mean, in weakness and the strength of the in that led to the preparation of the tomorrow's game. No, of course, they they a squad that suddenly picked up form. They won their last match. Uh, we've gone into details in terms of uh, their style of play now with the new coach uh, is coming in. Uh, they're a dangerous side that uh, we will not take them for granted. We'll give them the utmost respect like we do all our opponents. We know how important the three points is in this league and uh, we're going to do everything in our power to try and obtain that, that three points. But we give them the respect. They are a good side, they are a direct side, they, uh, a side that can score within three, four passes. So you know, we have to constantly do the basics right in terms of our defensive structure and of course uh, apply our game plan to try and uh, score goals tomorrow. Okay. So la Muisho, Wakocha. Coach, it seems you struggle to get uh, three points in away away game, and tomorrow you are going to play away against Pambaji. What is your marks on tomorrow game? Well, uh, so far the statistic says that uh, our away matches are better than our home matches, because the record speaks for itself. Um, it's always a, it's always a situation of uh, getting to understand the pitch you are playing on. 
uh, will be no different today. We have our match day minus one session. We, we will see what type of game we can play. Uh, if we can build up through the lines at, at all uh, times, what are the distances uh, we have to position our players and, uh, and then try to apply our principles in a manner that will get us the three points. Wakati wa kufanya shughuli za madini kwa faida kubwa ni sasa. Karibu Econec Mintech Limited Mining Tools and Equipment. Tunatoa huduma ya exploration kwa hatua zote, yani geosurvey, geophysical na geochemistry. Kwetu sisi pia ni wataalamu wa bubezi wa kutengeneza viwanda vya uchenjuaji wa madini aina zote, yani mining processing plant, kama vile vat leaching plant, CIP plant, CIL plant, smelting, consolator plant na winchi aina zote. Econec Mintech Limited tunatoa ushauri wa kitaalamu wa madini kwa wachimbaji wakubwa na wadogo aina zote za madini. Pia tunabaini na kutoa tiba kwa aina zote za magonjwa ya udongo unaoleta shida katika uchenjuaji wa madini. Tunapatikana Usagara chuo cha ndege barabara ya Fela, karibu na sheria ya mafuta ya Auto Station jijini Mwanza ama tufikie kwa sanduku la posta moja moja tisa tano moja au kwa simu namba 0749000851 au simu namba 0712273333 au WhatsApp namba anza na alama ya kujumlisha 2607 7453161 nyote mnakaribishwa